Hello Goat Lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and finally the moment we have all been waiting for. This is your March 2024 Goat News. So up first, I have received news that a Milk Awards Earn from a one day milk test that we took back in 2021, which is exactly three years ago, have officially been awarded and put on file. They have had a lot of trouble with their new software, so this is an exciting step forward for ADGA performance programs in NG. We had 11 does earn their milk stars, two bucks that earn their plus B designation, and several little bucklings that have earned their star B designation. So for a doe to earn her milk star on a one day milk test, that doe really, really has to prove herself. So a Nigerian dwarf has to earn seven points um, to earn her milk star. And those points are based off of um, how much the milk weighs, how many days they are in milk, and also how much the butter fat weighs. So let's go over what that means for our herd. If you guys have been with us long enough, then you remember the crazies. We purchased them for their great genetics, knowing they were skittish. We no longer have any of them, but we do have some of their offspring. So this is Val. She earned her milk star, bringing in 8.92 points, and Val is Vader's dam. And now we have Tansy, who also earned her milk star with 7.62 points, and Tansy is Tippy's dam. Roxy here earned her milk star with 9.94 points. And this is Ruby who also earned her milk star and she is a daughter of Roxy. So now Ruby is a two star milker and she brought in 9.94 points. Ruby is Ray's dam. And this is Becky and she earned her milk star with 8.35 points and Becky is Bessie's dam. Then there is Dawn, which I'm sure many of you remember. She is no longer with us, but she earned her milk star, making her a 3M milker. And she pulled in 8.93 points. And Dawn is the dam of Dreamer and Daisy. And now for the does that we still have in the herd. Cassie earned her milk star, making her a two star milker with 9.33 points. Maddie earned her milk star, making her a three-star milker with 9.88 points. And Mayo, of course, earned her star, making her a three-star milker with 9.84 points. And Miss Lily, she earned her milk star, making her a five-star milker, and she had 10.08 points. So because of some of these does earning their stars and being daughters of our bucks, our sweet luck buck earned his plus B designation and champ also earned his plus B designation. So this is awesome news for us, you guys. We have been waiting for this for so long. So I'm just so happy it is finally official. Um, and we got word that it's, it's real. It's actually real and on file now. So that, that is just the best news. I am beside myself with excitement. So if you happen to have had your herd participate in a one day milk test competition from 2021 and on, go ahead and check your account because you might have some stars that have been awarded. Hey goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. It is really important for our goats to get bred in the fall and have their kids in the spring. That way they're ready to compete in the dairy goat shows. And after all the kids are weaned and have gone to their new homes, we continue to milk twice a day. We use that milk to make the best homemade goat milk soap you can find. So head on over to our Etsy shop and show your skin some love. The link to our Etsy shop is in the description below. In other ADGA news, the tentative linear appraisal area map and dates has been released. But if you haven't signed up to LA your herd yet and would like to, you still can by April 15th, but it will require a late fee of $75. Also, the ADGA National Show Schedule has been released. The Nigerian Junior Does will be showing Monday, July 15th, and the Nigerian Senior Does will be showing Tuesday, July 16th. The judges for the Nigerians will be Todd Biddle and Bart Bartholomew. And speaking of shows, the Caprine Classic and Pima County Fair shows held on April 19th and 20th at the Pima County Fairgrounds are sneaking up on us fast. 
So if you haven't already entered into the Pima County Fair Show, you still can by paying a late fee of $25. And if you are entered into the Pima Fair Show or intend to, make sure that you also enter into the Caprine Classic Show. We also have some exciting news about the Caprine Classic Youth Show. So we got another amazing sponsor for the Grand Champion and Reserve Grand Champion winners of our youth show. Echo Ridge Farms made these amazing breed trophies for each breed that will be sanctioned. They took the extra time to customize our order so the awards turned out exactly how we wanted them. They are so perfect and the kids are going to love them. Make sure to check out Echo Ridge Farms on Etsy for your next show awards or for your own custom name tags for your goats. Thank you Echo Ridge Farms from all of us at Southern Arizona Dairy Goat Association. Speaking of youth sponsors, Molly's Custom Silver sponsored belt buckles for the Caprine Classic Showmanship and we just received them. Look at how beautiful these turned out. So thank you again Molly's for sponsoring this year's Showmanship. Real quick guys, if you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you. You guys are awesome and you're not just here for the cute little baby goats, but you're here for our family as well and all of the silly things that we do. So, just special for you guys, click right here if you'd like to see a cute little sneak peek of what's to come. And now for some goat news around the world. A Nigerian dwarf goat was born in the United Kingdom for the first time on March 14th after his frozen embryo was shipped from the US. A couple who runs Windmill Farm Park in the UK fell in love with the Nigerian dwarf breed and wanted to have some of their own. Since it is illegal to import a live goat into their country, they had to take another route and plan for in vitro fertilization. A total of nine embryos were collected and after their 18 month journey, they were implanted into six female boar goats with one being successful. Five months later, their goat Myrtle gave birth to the very first Nigerian dwarf goat in the United Kingdom. So congratulations Mr. and Mrs. Briggs for delivering the first Nigerian dwarf goat in your country. How cool of a story is that, you guys? So if you are unaware of what in vitro fertilization is, it is a procedure that involves removing eggs from the ovaries, fertilizing them to create embryos, letting them grow for several days, and then freezing them. When they are thawed, the embryos can be implanted into a surrogate mother. Obviously, a lot has to go right for that to be successful, so that is a really great story with a happy ending. All right, guys, so that is it for this month's goat news. So make sure that you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and we will be seeing you all again soon.